Can a spice that's been used for thousands of years in Indian cooking also be the secret to fighting inflammation, boosting brain health, and more? The answer may surprise you. But first, I want to start with a story. Years ago, I was on a trip in mainland China, and I was introduced to this traditional Ayurvedic recipe called golden milk. I don't know if you've heard of it. This is a warm and really comforting drink. They make it with milk and honey, but most notably, turmeric. Now, for those of you who don't know, turmeric is a vibrant yellow spice, and it's been used extensively, not only in cooking, but also in traditional Eastern medicine. And the locals swore by its health benefits. And also, I know many of my Eastern doctors that I've met over the years also swear by it. So I decided to do a deep dive into the research and the best ways to consume turmeric. But before we discuss some of the research, you should know how I approach research done on herbal supplements. Huge studies are expensive, and they're typically funded by pharmaceutical companies. Those that are not well-funded, like studying inexpensive herbal supplements, are often small or flawed. So take all the research done on herbal supplements with a big grain of salt. Also, can you imagine if one of the studies did find that turmeric was the best treatment for arthritis? A multi-billion dollar pain industry could be destroyed overnight. Now let's explore some of the science. Now the main ingredient in turmeric is called curcumin which is a compound known for its anti-inflammatory properties. And in fact, a study published in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine found that curcumin was equally effective as ibuprofen in treating osteoarthritis. But before you go and replace your medicine cabinet with turmeric, it's essential to note that the bioavailability of curcumin when consumed orally is quite low. This is because it's rapidly metabolized in the liver and the intestinal wall. But the effects of turmeric extend way beyond just curcumin. Turmeric contains over 200 active compounds, many of which also exhibit potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. For instance, turmerone, one you probably haven't heard of, this is another compound in turmeric, has shown potential benefits in promoting neural stem cell growth and protecting against neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. This is according to a study that was published in Stem Cell Research and Therapy. However, it's not all golden for this golden spice. The major criticism of curcumin, the active ingredient in turmeric, is its poor bioavailability. This means that even if you consume it, not a lot of it ends up being absorbed by your body. In fact, some researchers have argued that given its unstable stable, reactive nature, and rapid elimination from the body, it may not even be worth it to keep studying this. But if you know me, you know I don't agree with that. Don't put your turmeric away just yet. Recent research suggests that the effects of turmeric might extend beyond its bioavailability. In fact, a double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled pilot study showed that both turmeric and curcumin are altered the gut microbiome in a highly similar manner. Now this indicates that curcumin could be driving the majority of observed changes in turmeric treated subjects. Now the answer to the golden question is how do you increase the bioavailability of turmeric to maximize the bioavailability of curcumin, its active compound? It is highly recommended to consume it in a combination with certain other substances that increase the bioavailability. What are these substances you might ask? First one is black pepper or piperine, which is the main active ingredient in black pepper, which has been shown to increase the bioavailability of curcumin by up to 2,000%. Now this is due to piperine's ability to inhibit certain intestinal and liver enzymes that would otherwise metabolize the curcumin. So it allows more of it to enter the bloodstream and 2,000 is a whopping number. Number two is fat. Curcumin is a fat soluble compound, meaning that it dissolves in fat. By consuming curcumin with a source of fat, like cooking with oils or taking it with a meal that contains fat, you can increase the amount of curcumin that your body absorbs. The next thing that you can do is add some heat. Some evidence suggests that heating turmeric can increase the solubility of curcumin, which could potentially enhance its absorption in the gut. Me personally, I take it with my tea at night. Now, I'm not going to recommend a specific product to you, but they do have a lot of supplements that contain piperidine that you should look for. Then, what I do is I take it with some olive oil or some fish oil supplements, and I actually put some oils in my tea at night. So that adds a little bit of fats when I take my turmeric. So back to the big question, does turmeric actually work? The science says yes, but with some important caveats. It's clear that turmeric has a lot of potential benefits, but it's also clear that we've got a lot to learn about how to best use it and maximize its potential. Now, as always, consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new supplement regimen. And remember, the goal is not to seek magic bullets, but to develop a holistic understanding of health that allows us to make informed decisions. And if you believe 
that Western medicine does not have all the answers, be sure to subscribe to my channel for a holistic view on health and medicine that you won't get anywhere else. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my community. Leave me your email address, and I'm going to send you a lot of stuff that not only I can't say on YouTube, but recommendations, tips, and technologies that I'm using every single day. The link is going to be down there in the description, and thank you for watching another video. Definitely be sure to subscribe if you're interested in more supplement and herb videos just like this one.